The ongoing relationship that we have with um, Cardiff University is, is vital to supporting the success of Bridge End Engine Plant within Ford Motor Company. Bringing in new ideas and new concepts that come through an academic environment into a manufacturing base. It's really about the Knowledge Transfer Partnership, the KTP as it's called, and uh, we have Clive Handley here uh, who's been a long-standing member of the Bridge End Engine Plant management team who then sort of started dialogues with the Knowledge Transfer Partnership Group in Cardiff University. We work with uh, three schools uh, in total. We work with the Engineering School, the Computer Studies and Informatics School and also Architecture. And with working those three schools uh, we have a value of projects over the last two years of half a million pounds. Well strategic partnerships have been very important to Cardiff. If two people in each organisation get on then that will develop maybe initially in small steps. You might start off with knowledge transfer partnership, for example, that gets the uh, organisations working together, hopefully with benefits each side. So what companies get out of this is uh, an independent view on some of their day-to-day -day issues, uh, improved profitability, and not to forget the human element, good graduates for their future workforce. Michael Higgins is working with us on a, a very important project for Bridge End Engine Plant. Um, this is uh, doing some simulation work on our ZTEC SE engine machining and assembly lines. Absolutely critical that we make as many engines as we can through the production system. And he is doing analysis with regard to how we're buffering our processes to ensure we can optimise the productivity of our systems. There's benefits to all three parties involved in the Knowledge Transfer Partnership. Um, for Ford, it's accounted for an increase in productivity and cost savings. Uh, for Cardiff University, they're able to test new theories and um, access to real-world data which they can use in models. And then for myself, I mean, I get fast-tracked through a lot of training and I get a lot of industrial experience that I wouldn't otherwise get. The computer science project's been incredibly helpful, actually. Um, we've got quite an old mainframe system that helps us manage our labour and overhead. Um, this project that uh, we've utilised here in Bridge End Engine Plant has helped us take away the shackles of some of the mainframe parts of it and let us use it in a lot more flexible manner. And now we're using that as a bridge end engine plant. We're now looking to see what other applications we have within the business elsewhere. The project has made some uh, useful contribution to uh, Ford uh, through the hard work of uh, the KTP associate, David Jones. Uh, we managed to deliver two uh, systems. It's actually now working in uh, Ford. Um, that has brought in some uh, cost savings. So at the university we spend a lot of time researching and coming up with new ideas and innovating. It's only when you see those in the real world they actually see how we can benefit business and make a difference. Uh, we're just embarking on the grand challenge now which is looking at some of our energy efficiency that we have in the plant, looking at how uh, we use the hot air within the facility, how we clad the building to see what opportunities we've got for making significant savings. And I'm very excited about starting to work on this project uh, with the university. The Blue Oval Scholarships uh, are an important part of the project and it is where Ford Motor Company is, has sponsored 10 projects and those 10 projects have totaled approximately £100,000 worth of support for the university. Building on a strong relationship with the academic community, it helps the academic area spark new ideas and identify new and different opportunities to bring forwards and continuing that relationship year over year strengthening the bond between Bridge End Engine Plant and the University will continue to deliver new and surprising technologies and advances in the way we think on how we produce engines in the future.